don't know what the difference was, but I did 2,500 hours of grinding nothing in Destiny 1, then Destiny 2 came along and I got 150 hours in, and maybe it's me changing to a lower attention span, but meh. I... I know from my perspective, the older I get, the less I want to spend on, like, any one thing, unless it's something really fulfilling. And so grinding nonsense, I mean... We we've already had the long conversation about how the cursed world cursed word is grind. Damn, this is effective. But I think that's just generally the case. Like when I was young, I could play World of Warcraft for hours and end and find it enjoyable and relaxing and whatnot. I think part of it was, it was nice to have something really regular. Um, and it was also less of a financial drain. I mean, don't get me wrong, World of Warcraft is still kind of pricey. Uh, but it was, it was definitely cheaper than buying, like, one to two new $60 games every given week. Like, I know this week specifically there was some question of, like, do I pick up Pokemon Mystery Dungeon? Uh, because I'm also toying with the idea of, do I pick up, uh, you know, do I pick up post Pokemon Mystery Dungeon? Do I pick up Neo 2? Do I pick up, uh, Animal Crossing? Do I pick up... I mean, Doom Eternal, there's no question. That's a yes. I'm picking up Doom Eternal, mainly because, like, I know I'm going to be able to finish that in, like, 10, 15 hours, and it's not going to, like... It's not going to eat my time. Neo, you need a sidekick. Uh, you mean, like, for multiplayer? Yeah. <clears throat> that actually is part of the consideration, is, like, do do I try and recruit, like, another person to play it with? It's like, I'd almost rather just maybe play Neo on PC when it hits there instead. Instead of trying to, like, rush it out on PS4. I think... Truly, for Neo, a lot of it has to do with the gear grinds. Like, with Grim Dawn, for example, it's it's easy enough for me to just, like, play it for a couple hours. You know, obviously grind through a bunch of loot because it doesn't have that much of an impact, at least currently. I can't Whoa. do that yet. Boy, howdy. I died. That's a first. I actually have not died in this game before. Anything you like. Oh, it's a good thing I'm not playing on hardcore. Put it to good use. Well, uh, now where the heck? So I'm gonna go back there and figure out where any of this was. Oh boy. Uh, that you know what? That's actually relatively close. Is that a rip? That's a rip. I got, I got blasted. I'm dead. Now the, the one thing I do miss about losing my old group is there was a certain level of like, I'm not going to say commitment, but like, if I wanted to do a co-op series on something, I could just be like, hey, you want, you want to do a co-op series on this? And like, I generally get a yes from somebody. And I haven't really, like, managed to find that again. So are there any mods in chat right now? Nope. I should probably get some new mods that are better for the late night crew. Unfortunately, that audience tends to be a little bit variable, and or I just feel weird about imposing on a lot of other people. Oh yeah, turn on buffs. Not that I have a whole lot of buffs. Oh, shit. I'm just right here. Alright. Well, there's that. Oh, giant loop. I got it. I know Crystalon's kind of here. Okay, let's go for the shrine first. And I... Then I guess we can just kind of explore this area. Yeah, I'm gonna go get the Devotion Shrine, obviously. This place is a weird maze. Oop, 
Oh, that's an easy one. And we get a Herald's Jacket. I have no idea if that's any good. The answer is... It's okay. It's considerably better armor-wise than my Gunslinger coat, so I should probably replace it. Well, I guess while we're here... Devotion points. Uh, let's see, I was maxing out candle? Candle. Let's see. What was he even talking about? Short games, long games, some as big as you get. I don't know. I'm weirdly obsessive on this whole, like, how to... how to micromanage time in relation to playing video games, which is odd, because, like, video games are, like, the most voluntary waste of time you can do. And maybe, maybe it's kind of the same thing with the, um, it's the same thing with, like, Destiny 1 versus Destiny 2, that, like, at some point it starts losing some meaning, and then you have to, like, kind of find it again somehow. And maybe that's what I'm stuck on. That, like, I've lost the meaning in some of the more pointless actions. Uh, and that's driven driven me up the wall. Maybe a lot of it, for me, specifically has to do with it. Like, I do actually have a lot more to do. Uh, back when I lived with my parents, I guess I had it a fair, a fair amount to do. But, like, I was, I was specifically mostly tr trying to escape my situation more than... Um, more than I was trying to actually find full enjoyment in a lot of the stuff I was doing. Which is part of the reason why I was capable of doing 400 episodes of Scrap Mechanic. Like, interestingly enough, the moment I moved away from, um... Massachusetts was the moment I, like, lost a lot of interest in Scrap as a... as a game. I mean, there's a lot of other reasons with it. But it was a lot easier for me to just be like, okay, I've had enough of this. Now that I was, like, living with Shell and had slightly more free time uh, to myself. Freedom, maybe? I don't know. Actually having a car that I felt comfortable driving or being driven in. So whatever happened to the Wander Error remote? Uh, I replaced it because it was hard to read. I might come up with a new one, but it was... Uh, I only have so many emote slots in, like, a given, um... Like, I only have so many emotes that I can have active at once. And so I'm trying to phase it out f for old ones out that people don't use as much. For newer ones that people can can use. To be honest, you're a loot goblin. I mean, eh. But like, I just remember gladly wasting hours on end playing anywhere from uh, Robocraft. I played a lot of Robocraft for some reason. I barely recorded any of it because I didn't think it was particularly fun content, which is odd because I should have. Let's see. But I, I used to play like hours and hours of Robocraft and Warframe constantly. And now that I'm now that I'm a little older, it's like why did I do that? I probably could have worked on a lot of other things. Yeah, Robocraft was fine, but all the new systems and game types made it suck. It's so interesting. They had such a, like, perfect system, but any time they touched it, it got worse. And I've never seen a game do that before. To that extent. Like... You could absolutely argue that, like, World of Warcraft's been going down the tubes over the past couple of years. And I think... I think there's valid reasons why you could say that. But I think a lot of it just has to do with, like, setting and writing and, and some other stuff. Like, I would love to play an MMO that had skill trees like Path of Exile. Um, but I feel that, like, that would, that would drive away almost all of the audience and they wouldn't come back. So I understand why, like, you wouldn't want to do that. But so, like, in Robocraft's case, 
every time they every time they updated that game with like new weapons, new types, new balancing options, it's just everyone was like, it's so bad. And they were right, it was generally kind of rough. I I remember they rebalanced it so like you couldn't They changed it so you couldn't effectively have like little twink machines and bring them bring them down in levels to like dunk on people. And something about that specific patch ruined it for me, that, like, even on the upper levels, the balance was gone. Things had changed. And I don't really remember why. It sounds like a good change to make. You'd think so, but, like, it was different in a bad way. The Twink Machines were always hilarious. Maxed out Sniper with super basic parks. They're also quite killable. Yeah, that was it. That was it for me. It was like it was the one game where people could have like these absolutely busted guns, but they couldn't actually use them. Because, or no, they could use them, but it came at such a heavy handicap, it might not necessarily have been worth it. Oh right, they also changed how like certain weapons recharged. If I remember right, there's there's a lot of different things that specifically made it like better or worse. I'm assuming the game is still live. I wonder if anybody still plays it. Unfortunately, without, like, a consistent group to play with. I mean, I guess I could do, like, a fan night of it, but even then. Motivation just isn't there as much. I I wonder if you could actually do, like, private lobbies now. Because that, that was actually something I always kind of wanted, is, like, private matches between friends and communities and stuff. You can do private lobbies. Cool. Because yeah, I don't remember being able to do private lobbies the last time I played. I'm going to have to stop soon purely to go get food. I am starving. I have had all of two pieces of toast and a bagel today. Which is not exactly the most uh, fulfilling diet. It's also nearing 11. I should... I should absolutely keep to a better stopping point. Especially because we're going to be playing a stupid amount of Ori in the Blind Forest tomorrow. Because the embargo drops, and that means I can actually, uh... Put some time into it. Yeah, toast does wonders, but it's not the most filling food. I find toast to be fairly filling, it's just... You need vegetables. If you don't have enough veggies in your in your diet, you're in trouble. Ooh, this guy hurts. Oh boy. I can't do that yet. There we go. This sucker punches. Oh, Scarlet Marksman. I saw that and I'm like, hey, gun for me. And the answer is no, not gun for me. Grab the dynamite, grab everything else. All right, let's get out of here. There's a world of difference between a slice of pre-sliced white bread and a toaster and a thick wedge of good bread on a pan. Oh, huh. I haven't really tried pan, uh, pan toasting bread. What I've been doing is I've been messing around with different bread brands, specifically. Uh, oh, we're here. Probably okay. I don't really know how to go get back. I'm not necessarily sure if I need to though. Uh, let's go down. Let's go turn in the quest we can. I know I've got to go back and work on old scars, which is apparently elsewhere. I missed some area somewhere. Anything with seeds in it. Seeded bread is amazing. I know, right? Um, I specifically... Uh, let's see. I might want to take their way around. Let's turn in these quests for a second. I think I'm going to go com uh, complete those quests. 
Or the quest, the map. Got the venom you need. Okay. So this one's a hunt I've been struggling with. Local stories of an old... Speak of an old thorn horror known as Old Bloodbriar. As it turns out, some of the old stories are true. An old Bloodbriar has been reported terrorizing farmers in the homestead. I've managed to make find some tracks, but I lost them out in the shaded basin to the south. Might be hiding out in the caves out there, but I can't be sure. Sure. You unlock, I've already killed him. Well done! Death of that horrid beast will go a long way towards restoring the order in this region. I don't remember this guy's voice. My superiors will be pleased to hear this. Cool. And you. How goes the hunt? You're dead. Impressive. The beast put one of my men out of commission for a week. Your iron is promised. Now, if you're willing, I got more work for you. Sure. Uh, let's see. Gloom Weaver. I already killed it. Oh, you're efficient. I like it. You do well than the death marks. Well, I got your iron bits right here. One last mission if you're up for it. What do you need? Blood Feast the Ruthless. Is a vicious Rangul. Cool. I already killed him. You're a brutal and efficient fighter. I'd hate to run into you on a battlefield. Glad to have you on our side. Be sure to include you in my report back to Captain Summer and Homestead. Bye. Alright, level up. Uh, let's see. So, Inquisitor. Pump the rest of the points in that. And what else do we have? Or of Conviction. So that's armor. I should probably start putting points into this to get the auras, because they sound kind of fun. Does the Inquisitor have any other... have any good, like, passive abilities? Or, like, buffs? Because the aura seems neat. Yeah, so the question is, do I want the fire... Let's see. Aura of Censure, Word of Renewal. Okay. Oh, it's a healing spell. That's cool. I guess I'll grab that. Perfect. Okay, so talking about seeded bread and stuff, and people are talking about pan frying bread. Uh, anyway, so yeah, that's actually one of the things that I've been messing with as far as um, as far as like changing my diet around. I used to my my parents have this weird idea that being spendthrift is. I'm not gonna say like the best thing that you can do. But they're extremely thrifty to a fault. Like, an actual fault. Um, and I respect it. I respect their, their choices and I respect their lifestyle. But from my perspective as somebody that um, probably didn't have their upbringing, the idea of only buying, you know, day-old bread, bargain bin discount stuff, is dumb. And I hated it. And so, uh, growing up, you know... Post-graduation, I kind of followed suit for a while. And I still go for some, like, budget-tier meals. Like, I made a giant freaking pot of chili uh, over a week ago. And I'm just going to find... I'm finally going to have the, the final serving of it today. Let's see, deal bread tastes the same in the toaster. No offense. True. Um, but if you're having, say, like a ham sandwich or something, that Dale bread uh, in the supermarket... It, it starts dropping pretty quick in terms of efficacy as far as, like, good sandwich materials. And I don't like toasted sandwiches. I like my sandwiches to be kind of soft. Otherwise, it kind of scrapes at, uh, the roof of my mouth and makes it kind of bleedy, and I don't like that. Um, but, no, like, they would buy store brand, low-tier, not very tasty bread. And some stores actually have really good bread. 
most stores I find they're like wheat bread, for example, it honestly ends up tasting like cardboard. Um, and so I've been messing around with different brands and stuff. So like Kroger around here actually has pretty good. Um, Kroger has fairly decent bread uh, from what I've experienced. Uh, but the bread that I really, really have, like, stuck to is the Dave's Killer Bread, which as like, I saw it everywhere, and I'm like, five, six bucks for a loaf of bread, like, this is, this is grossly expensive, and the answer is, like, no, it's actually pretty good. Um, my favorite two loaves are the, uh, seeded bread and the blue cornmeal, I think, in the bread, both of which are just, like, absolutely delicious. My inventory is full. So it is. Alright, we go back. I was gonna say Dave's. Yeah, like, I I legitimately made fun of this stuff once or twice, being like, man, like, okay, this is everywhere. Of got left. And, like, you know, what makes it so good? And the answer is, oh, it's actually just because it's really good. Uh, let's see. Gaze Weakness. It's not really good for me. I like the idea of it. Let's see, Harold's jacket is not really what I'm looking for. Nah. Nah. Uh, let's see, Fire Acid, Poison, Baron, eh, it's okay, but I already have a lot of that stuff. A lot of components. I should probably look into crafting at some point, but later-ish? Later, probably. Put it to good use. Lore, 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 and we're all good. Your website is janky, I've never heard of them, but I trust you. I, they're just all over the place, and apparently they're local to, uh, they're local to this immediate area, so, I don't know. Kind of neat. Oh, we have one more thing at the very least I can drop down. I'll give you a good price of what I've got left. Oh. A Slay the Spire like. I remember when we were, uh, Talking about what kind of game Curse of the Dead was. Sorry. Weird spoiler. Uh, I don't actually... It's... I mentally filter out the... Um, See you around. Uh, any highlighted comments uh, put on YouTube? Or not YouTube, put on Twitch chat? Because I can't read them. They're very hard to read. Because I've got the font upticked. And uh, so trying to read it... They're layered over each other, and I have to actually click on them to be like, okay, what did this person say? And so, except for when I'm playing a game exactly like Grim Dawn, I straight up can't read them because it just doesn't fit. I, it was also one of those where people, back when it was a lot cheaper, people were spamming, um... Ooh, fanaticism. That's not bad. That's actually pretty good. Okay, so we want to get this at level 35. Uh, people were spamming me really hard with the highlighted comments. Uh, let's see. Probably Dead, Dead Man's Gulch. These were spam. What were they? 250? Yeah, it was, it was rough. I hated it. Okay, just Dead, Dead Man's Gulch. We could try and rush, rush the damage side of things. Oh. Wait, I thought this was a cave. Did you find my sister? Yeah, she was in the mountain deeps. I'm sorry. I had a feeling. Thanks for the, ex the information. Excuse me. Well, do we want to try and go down in there? Probably won't kill me. Careful, wander. I have push-up money. Speaking of, I actually have to do uh, push-ups. I'm going to try and fit them in. I can't do that yet. Ah, didn't work. 
Okay. We can definitely pull it off. We just have to... There's a little, like, side path. That I have to scoot down. I don't actually know if this is worth it, but still. Well, that was a lot faster. Okay, so there is something over here. Let's reclaim the EXP. I'm not going to go into the dungeon yet. Let's let's see what's up here first. It looks like it's kind of an isolated area. Let's see. We got ring fit points. Yes, but please do not make me do ring fit tonight. Mainly because I just say no. I'd rather go to bed. I would have to, like, defer and be like, later. Okay, so let's... Let's go rush that door, see if it's any good. Because there is a door over here. I can't open that. Oh, sealed by, sealed by the Black Legion. Well, can't do that. Okay, let's go to the Broken Hills. I gotta figure out. We were supposed to kill a couple of zombies or something. Old scars. Nope, that ain't it. Uh, what's the button for quests? Oh, that's Codex. Factions. Map? Options? Achievements? Old Scars. Runes of the Hills, Rocky Coast, Old Arcovia. Okay, let's try this. So they're out here, maybe. Enter city entrance. Yeah, so we actually didn't clear this area out particularly well. So I guess I'm just going to wander around. Oh, wait. No, no, no. This is too far back. Let's see. So other than that, maybe it's Smuggler's Pass? Nope. Ain't Smuggler's Pass. Fine Barons. Maybe let's try Twin Falls? Okay, it's here. So there's there's some undead in the immediate area. I thought they were down below, but I guess they're up here somewhere. Hello? gonna kill me. I'll handle this. Sup? Nope. You. Hold on there, traveler. You wouldn't want this pretty lady's brains to... Okay, here's some money. Thank you kindly. You go on your merry way now. Let's see. Poor stupid thing. Gotta say, you're making me feel a little guilty. It's all a sham hunt. You got squindled. We do what we gotta do out here. And sure beats aiming a gun at every traveler. It crosses us. Uh, let's see. Don't have to live like this. Go to the prison. Sure. Bye. Alright, we've recruited random... Random ban bandits. It's weird. They take hostage of... Of each other. Just to, like, swindle money out of other... Uh, kind folks. Weird. Uh, let's see. So you guys... I, I see you guys conspiring in chat. Like, you could... You can see me look over. I'm reading. Uh... Fair, fair warning, um, 
I have commands set up specifically, yes, for me to do like ring fit and push-ups and stuff. If I hit the limit of my physical ability, I will just refuse to do things. Uh, so like earlier, I tried doing uh, the second set of 30 push-ups and I physically could not. Um, so like, the idea of putting me through the ringer is tempting, but it only works as long as I can actually do it. There's other things like trying to make me play Bennett Foddy, for example. Maybe I should add that as a command, you know, add like a hell game or two to the list. Problem is that involves a little bit more schedule fiddling. Also, maybe, I don't even know if I own Bennett Foddy. Uh, let's see. I should double check that at some point. I just never really... Felt like picking it up. It was one of those that, like, every YouTuber and their mother was playing it. And because it's not a roguelike, I'm not... It wasn't, like, immediately like, ah, I should pick this up. Is there anything else? The answer is no. Honestly, don't even. I'm not even sure if I need the. This, fifty thousand for an hour of division. Yeah. Part of the reason why I don't like to generally have, say, like play X game as an option, uh, is that like this. I, I mean, this is my my livelihood. Like ring fit is something that I should do more of. Um. And realistically, like, I, I should be proactive about doing more of it because, you know, it's good for me. Main thing is just, like, I don't want to break my house. So it's like, if I only do it occasionally, it's probably not too bad. Uh, and I've just been getting my exercise outside of that game. I don't know if we're going to be able to find what I'm looking for here. bees hurt. I gotta remember to take some more uh, tonics. Let's see, did I ever fix the chandelier issue? No, I haven't. I should. Uh, I've been kind of putting it off a little bit, mainly just because, like, I've been hiking and going out on long walks every single day, so, like, the idea of actually doing ring fit is... Eh, it's, I mean, it's still good exercise. It's better exercise than, like, the cardio that I'm doing. But, uh, it's not as necessary. Push-ups, on the other hand, are something that I can, like, play. But the problem with, like, an hour of division for 50,000 50, henge bits, for example, is, like, that is something that drastically interrupts my, um, my stream schedule. And isn't something that I would normally be super interested in playing. Like, I tried it. It was a fun game. It was just more grind. And that was harsh for me. Can I go up here? No. Oh, they're gonna just keep pew-pewing at me and vice versa. I think maybe if I wasn't as much of a variety act, weirdly enough, I'd be more flexible for doing weird weird stuff. Like, it's it's kind of a curated ecosystem. Ecosystem is a curated balance that keeps my channel going, and I'm always afraid to, like, mess with that too much. Because I know, like, one week of, say, a bad game... And a lot of people just don't come back. And that's spooky. Ooh. Orwell's evol Revolver. That's good. I don't even care about grabbing a lot of these things. I guess I might as well. Now it really does want me to go back into the Undercity. Huh. Okay. Lightning damage, lightning damage. 
That's really good. I have a hard time believing that that actually does more... Wait. Oh, shit. It does do more damage. Oh, but that's a skill. Oh. I forgot about the arguments going on. Still, this is better. I guess it's got armor piercing and physical damage. I wonder if you replace the lightning damage. Uh... I guess I should probably try the uh, demon's breath. See if it's any good. It's pretty spooky. Might not be able to make streams. Uh, or just might be lurking due to real life issues. But I enjoyed your streams. Too much to ever stop. And if I did, I'd at least say something. Thanks. I just it's I don't know if it's what I would I say like a weird paranoia and stuff, but like It's no secret that like streaming and, and Twitch and YouTube is actually kind of a hard hard thing to keep going. There's a lot of There's a lot of, like, dead channels out there um, that, you know, kind of either flew cl too close to the sun or, you know, had a meteoric rise and then a meteoric fall or just kind of meteoric rise and then just this really slow, sad death. We're back to heavy topics. Welcome back. Uh, but, you know, the, I, I mean, think of YouTube and Twitch. I, I'm sure all of you guys have watched... At least one or two channels that kind of peter away. Either they bleed viewership or, you know, they take an extended break for their own health and they come back and the audience still isn't there. Or, like, the audience doesn't come back for them. Um, you know, not not everybody can pull, like, a, a cool reimagining or a redesign or, like, a, a revitalization of contents and just, and just like, really... Renew interest in their products and whatnot. And, like, ideally, I would like to be doing this job ten years from now. Just because it's a fun job. I like it. I like you guys. I like playing games as, like, contents and creation and whatnot. And, like... That... Voice in the back of the head... It's always just like, okay, just be careful. You can, no matter what, you can still screw this up. Uh, and I get it. There's a lot of people that are absolutely su super supportive of me. But it's it's still one of those where it's like, I gotta be careful all the same. Uh, and luckily, you know, I am in such a lovely niche. And I do have such a supportive audience. But it's, it's, it's one of those where, like, I, I will always be... Wow, that's actually pretty effective. What's the Molotov on damage? Uh, also pretty damn good. So I don't really know. Oh, there's a secret bonus area that I haven't gone to. But yeah, afraid of the potential fall? Pretty much. I, one of the things, I don't think I really talk about this one too much, but I absolutely hate it when I'm doing really, really well on on YouTube or even Twitch because I know the times after that suck. Uh, 
and like it's not comfortable, I guess. Uh, so a year ago, I think, give or take, it was about the time when Swag and Sorcery came out, and that's made by the Graveyard Keeper guys, and fairly fun game, bit repetitive. I was getting a shit ton of views on both Twitch and YouTube for it. Like, silly amounts compared to what I usually do. Where I was at like 300, 350, you know, whatever. Um. And it was one of those where, like, it was great, but I knew it wouldn't last. My options were stick with it and, like, push myself to play a game that I'm not super interested in for far too long and effectively just ride it as long as I possibly could, regardless of whether or not it was actually good content. Um, or just kind of let it die naturally and look for a good replacement. I went with the latter because that's the smart thing to do. You don't, you really do not ever want to shackle yourself to one game. For any extended length of time. I mean, how many Minecraft channels, for example, are quite dead at this point? Because that's the only thing they did. But yeah, then the series ended and all of those new people that were there for that specific game, poof, gone. And realistically, yeah, I'm not going I'm not going to, nor can I even at I can't force anybody to watch my content, obviously. I can just make sure that it's in front of as many eyeballs as possible and as engaging as possible to keep people around. And so whenever I have those me meteoric rises, it's this weird reminder that I'm going to have a really shitty downturn. And I'm not gonna be very happy about it. Because it's like drinking. The hangover period is the worst part. And, uh, imagine if your hangovers were a month long and, you know, came with charts and graphs about all the things that you used to have. Uh, like if, if alcoholism came with, um, came with analytics and how all of the analytics point to staying very drunk is the best way to be in. And the answer is like, oh, okay, but that's not sustainable, right? And the answer is no, of course it's not. You burn out. Or you eventually, like, die of alcohol poisoning. Okay, this is starting to break, break a little bit, but... Uh, so, like... Yeah, at the end of August last year, I was actually very close to, like, 4 million views on YouTube, which is... A massive achievement, just in terms of like, you know, that's that's a that's a huge step up from like 2.5 that I usually stick around at. I was really hoping I could actually stay there. I obviously was not uh, able to do so and whatnot, but like going into uh, going into the fall, end of August, people go back to school, people get busy again. Uh, not as many new things coming out, and people are just busier and less focused on watching YouTube or Twitch. Um, and yeah, just going from like 4 million to, you know, 2.6 million is actually, it's, it hurts a little, even though you know it's coming. Like, I knew it was coming, it happened a year ago, you can even look at my analytics and it's this sinusoidal graph, every year, same trends happen, uh, viewer, viewer habits are almost more important than the games that come out sometimes, which is kind of nice, uh, cause it means I can plan my life around it, which is why I went on vacation. Um, a couple weeks ago. Uh, let's see. But like it, no matter how mentally prepared I am for it, it always sucks. Because it's just baseline, yeah. I have this, like, I have this... I have page. I, I have pages worth of information. I have people whose pure job it is to to effectively squeeze the most out of my channel, uh, including me, I guess, um, that are, like, advising me on different things that I could be doing to, like, improve everything and so on and so forth. And it is, uh, it is weird, 
and it is uncomfortable. 